Hey everyone. Um, first off, I look a hot damn mess, <laughs> so please excuse me. Um, there, the reason why I'm doing this video is there have been a lot of misconceptions as far as um, the Wiccan read um, for those of you who are Wiccan. And the reason why I say misconceptions is because they're not necessarily true, but they're not necessarily false either. It's how we interpret it, it's how we use it in our everyday life that turns it into a misconception. The way I see the Wiccan Reef, or the Witch's Creed, however you wish to call it, is that... Within Wicca, we are meant to love, honor, and respect nature and, of course, anything within the boundaries of nature. And that even includes the energies of nature. Um, within witchcraft in general, we need to understand that there is a balance between, um, quote unquote, the light and the dark. I hate using those terminologies, but I'm going to use it for the sake of this video. Um, a lot of us try to claim ourselves as the white witch or the dark witch, and to me, I don't think there is a boundary when it comes to witchcraft. It is what it is. Witchcraft is the use of magical workings, magical energies, etc., etc., to create a change. Now, whether that change is to be positive or negative is completely up to the witch. So witchcraft is witchcraft to me. I don't put a label on it. I don't believe that one is better than the other. Um, it is what it is. And that's why I am no longer a Wiccan. And the same thing goes for the Wiccan, the Wiccan Reed or the Witch's Creed. Um, if you look at the full text, not the short version, not the medium version, but the actual Wiccan read, the long version of it. It does not state in there that you are not allowed to be upset, you're not allowed to be angry, or to get back at those that hurt you. It just simply says, and ye harm none, do as ye will. And then it also states, what ye send out comes back to thee times three. Okay? So, in my eyes, the way I see the read is that we are not necessarily being told that we can't do harm, but we know the consequences of that harm. Does that make sense? So that's why I've left Wicca, because so many Wiccans want to use this false belief that they never get upset, they never get angry, they never backlash if someone hurts them. Negative energy is negative energy. I've had one Wiccan, a Wiccan high priest, tell me if they use magic against you, that you can't use magic against them. But if they punch you in the face, if they trip you, if they kick you, if they spit in your face, whatever the case may be, if someone physically attacks you instead of magically, then you have every right to go back and attack them. Well, my question to him is this. If it's okay to attack someone physically that hurts you physically, then why is it not okay to go back at someone that hurts you magically? Does that make sense? Because to me it doesn't. I don't understand why one is okay over the other. Magic to me is the same as physical. It is a part of our bodies. It's a part of our mind, spirit, and soul. It is what we live in. So when we attack someone magically, we are in a sense attacking them physically with our physical bodies. We're just not in front of them when we are attacking them. Does that make sense? Do you understand? So, harm is harm. There's no way around it. When you attack someone back, you are still causing harm. So, 
the only way to avoid causing harm is to accept the fact that we're not human, which is ridiculous because we are human. We get upset. We get mad. We get pissed off at the world. We get mad at our friends and our families because they do something to us. It is human nature to want to get back at someone. Now, while I'm saying that, you should also be mindful of your actions. That's not to say that you shouldn't, um, you should protect yourself and blah, 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 blah. But you should also understand that there is a limit to what you can do. Don't go out and just attack people for the hell of it. Don't do it just because you want to have fun. You need a desperate measure of reason before you hurt someone or if you just want to attack someone physically, mentally, verbally, emotionally, or, of course, magically. Be mindful of your actions. If it's worth the consequences, then by all means, I support it. Do it. I don't think that the goddess would be upset at that. She gave us that free will to be able to defend ourselves. And if we if we were meant to not defend ourselves, if we were meant to not defend ourselves, then I think that would defeat the purpose of being a Wiccan or a witch in general. And I think it would also be um it would make the goddess look bad as well. Because it makes us look weak, therefore we embody her, so therefore it makes her look weak. So take this as, as you will, take it how you want it, but I don't believe that we were told not to cause harm. If you need to defend yourself, do it. If magical defense is easier for you than physical defense, go for it. I support it. Thank you all for watching this video. May the goddess be with you. I love you all, and blessed be.